Please, I got donuts. Oh, thanks, baby. Um, Mom, they weren't donuts. They're good, Jeffy. Well, of course you would say nuts are good. You're a girl. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. They have nothing to do with nuts. Then why are they called donuts? What? I don't know. Are they made out of nuts? No. Are they made out of dough? Yeah, like 100% dough. Okay, so then where did the nuts come in at? Did the chef rub his nuts all over them? Jeffy, don't say that. No, no one rubbed their nuts on them. Well, do they look like a nut sack? No. Well, then show me. Baby, show them. Okay, Jeffy, look. Look, 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 look what they look like. Danny, that looks nothing like a nut sack. See, I told you, it has nothing to do with nut sacks. It's, it's just dough. Look, look, call them dough circles. Well, I think they look like big Cheerios. Like, that's what they are. They're really big Cheerios, and they're really good. You should have some. Oh, okay, Danny, I'm going to give me a Big Cheerio. Which one do I want? Um, Daddy, why is this Big Cheerio gold? What? Baby, did you order a golden donut? No, I don't know how that got in there. Why did we get a golden donut? Look, Marvin, let's watch TV. Hey there. Do you like donuts? If you do, go buy a box of donuts. And if you find the golden donut, you'll win a lifetime supply of free donuts. Go buy them now. Wow, we really just want a lifetime supply of donuts. We're going to get so fat, Marvin. Um, actually, I won the lifetime supply of donuts because I found the golden donut. But I bought them, Jeffy. But baby, don't argue. Look, we're not going to claim that prize because that's so unhealthy. We don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. You're right, Marvin. Well, then can I go claim the prize? No, Jeffy. Jeffy, we don't need a lifetime supply of donuts. That's so unhealthy. <sighs> oh, man, Danny. All right, well, if you need me, I'll be in my room just eating these donuts and not going to go claim the prize for a lifetime supply of donuts and become the donut king or anything. Yep, do if you need me. I'll be in my room, Danny. Okay, Jeffy. Hear ye, hear ye. I am the ruler of the donuts. I am the Donut King. Whoa, Jeffy, how'd you get so many donuts? Well, Junior, I found this golden donut, and I won a lifetime supply of donuts, and now every time I want some, they send me hundreds of them, because I'm the Donut King. Well, can I get a donut? No, Junior, I'm sorry, but if I give one to you, I'll have to give one to all the peasants. Oh, you, you just have hundreds of them, so I thought I could probably have one. Hmm. Well, how about this, Junior? If you want a donut from the King, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something cool for a donut. Uh, well, can I just give you money? No, I don't want money, Junior. I want something cool. Uh, what can I trade you for a donut? Um, ooh, I know, I, I got something. How about this? It's a megaphone. It makes you talk really loud. Give me a sec. Beep. All right, Junior, you got yourself a trade. You may pick out one donut. Yay, I get a donut! This thing is so pee I feel so sick from eating donuts. I ate way too many donuts. See, that's exactly why we weren't going to claim the lifetime of supply of donuts, because it, they just make you feel so awful after you eat them. Ugh. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? There's a worldwide donut shortage ever since this kid won a lifetime supply of donuts and requested that all of them be brought to his donut kingdom. <gasps> he didn't. Jeffy, we told you not to claim those donuts. Jeffy! Yes, father? We told you not to claim those donuts. Bow to the king. What? Bow to the king. I'm not bowing to you. Bow hey. No, Jeffy. Marvin, maybe we should just bow and get it over with. I'm not bowing to him. Danny, your shoe's untied. Thanks for bowing to the king. Well, I didn't bow to you. Mommy, your toes are untied. What? Wait, don't, don't. Thanks for bowing to the king. Oh, we did not bow to you, Jeffy. Look, we're getting rid of all these donuts. Dang, we can't get rid of my donuts because I'm the donut king and this is my donut kingdom. Jeffy, I told you not to claim those donuts. Dang, you don't get a lifetime supply of donuts and not claim them. Well, Jeffy, look, we're going to get rid of all these donuts right now, okay? Please leave the kingdom. I'm not, I'm not leaving. It's not a kingdom. God! Yes, my liege. I requested that they leave the donut kingdom, and they're not leaving. Leave the donut kingdom. It's not a kingdom. It's a bed full of donuts in my house. The king wants you to leave. He's not even a king. That's a Burger King crown. Look, leave, or you'll be sorry. What are you going to do about it, dolphin boy? Okay, that's racist, and if you don't leave, I'm going to give you a tail whooping. A, a, a dolphin tail whooping. I'm going to whoop you with my tail, is what I'm saying. <sighs> Baby, let's just get out of here. They're a bunch of bullies. Oh, look, look, look at that. On the TV, Karen, there's a donut shortage, huh? How about that? No, boy, they I don't want to look at the TV. I just want to cuddle with you. It's cuddle time. Uh, yeah, that's great. Oh, Karen, my phone's ringing. No, buddy, you got to cuddle with me. It's cuddle time. It's cuddle time. It's answer the phone time, Karen. Get, get off of me. Get answer the phone. Hello? Wait, wait really? What? The chief. What? Oh, my God. Okay, I'll be right over. Buddy, what's going on? It's the chief. He's dying. Oh, no. Chief! Chief, what's going on? 
I'm dying, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, don't say that. What's wrong? Wrong right here. Oh, Dr. Something Wong. What is wrong? Wong a girl. No, no, I mean, what's wrong with him? Oh, he dying. He dying real fast. He donut blood sugar be going and crash. He need donut. He need donut right now. Really, sir? You need a donut? Yeah, guy. Whenever you become the chief of police, you have to have a donut every 24 hours or else you die. Oh, no. But, but, chief, the donuts are sold out all over the world. Ever since that damn kid had to go and win that stupid contest. Well, guy, it looks like I'm gonna die then. Tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, no, sir. You're gonna tell her that yourself because you're gonna make it. You, you really think so, guy? I know so, sir. I'm gonna get a donut. Well, you better hurry because the heart rate monitor video only four minutes long. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna hurry right now. I'll go. Hurry up, damn it. Marvin. What? Ever since Jeffy kicked you out of Donut Kingdom, you've been angrily eating those baked beans. Yeah, I like baked beans. When I'm stressed out, I eat baked beans. It's my new thing. Every character has a thing. My new thing is baked beans. It's a little weird. No, every character has a favorite food. Like, you know, like Woody, like shrimp, and Shrek, like cheesecake. I, I like baked beans. That, that's my thing now. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hold on. Uh, hello. Oh, hey, 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 is your son who won all the donuts here? Yeah, he's upstairs in his donut kingdom. His what? His donut kingdom. Ever since he won all those donuts, he made a kingdom in his room. Uh, okay, well, I really, really need one of those donuts. Well, so does everyone in the world. They made a line outside his room. What? Really? Yeah, there's a line. So if you want a donut, just go join the line. Okay. What? Oh, come on. This line is ridiculous. I know. Tell me about it. I've been here for 45 minutes. But 45 minutes? What? Hey, 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 Pooby. Hey, Pooby. Let me skip you. What? No. Come on! Okay. Hey, hey, Logan. Logan, let, let me get in front of you. No! Oh, come on. Okay, okay, I can see why the movie never came out. Yeah, you guys were too busy waiting in line for donuts. Wait, is that Elena? El Elena! Can I get in front of you? No! Uh, the SML crew sucks! I'm just liking all your videos. Hey, hey, Pooby, how's your bum arm? Oh, ha ha! Okay, this sucks. I'm gonna go talk to the guard. I've been in line for 30 minutes. What's taking so long? Sorry, ma'am. The Donut King is very busy. You'll just have to be patient. <sighs> okay. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry. no me. skipping. Oh, come on. You play like one character. Uh, I play two characters. I play your wife, Blighty. Oh, okay, okay. Don't even start. Hey, man, no skipping. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a cop. I'm, I'm an officer of the law. Don't you have like a donut line skip pass? No, no. You'll just have to wait in line like everybody else. What? Hey, what's that? Where? Nice try. All right, send the next one in. All right, next. Oh, me, 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 me. Hey! I said next. Hey, hey, I'm here, I'm here. I was next. Just don't ask anybody else. Okay, can I have a donut now? Bow to the king. W what? Bow to the king. Oh, oh, yes, 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 your highness. Anything for a donut. Uh, okay, can I have one? If you want a donut from the king, something amazing you must bring. To trade. What, to trade? Yeah, you gotta trade me something for, for a donut. Well, okay, I have cash. Can I just give you that? No, I want something cool for a donut. Well, okay, I, look, look, man, I have a 20. How about I just give you a 20? No, you gotta trade me something cool. See, I got, like, this pocket bowling game. I got this megaphone. I got a flashlight and a stapler. You gotta trade me something cool if you want a donut. Okay, so just, like, junk? No, something cool. I don't... Okay, okay, look, man. My boss is dying, okay? And he, he if he doesn't get a donut, he's gonna die, all right? So I really need a donut. Do you not have a heart? Bored. What? I don't know what to get. Uh, you can have my hat. Do you want my hat? I'll give you my hat. No, I already have a crown that says Burger King. What? Okay, well, maybe my tie? I'll give you my whole outfit. No, you gotta trade me something or else leave the kingdom. Well, I don't have anything to trade. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what to get. Just give me a damn donut. Leave the kingdom. What? No, no, I need... Leave the kingdom. No, I'm gonna take a donut. Guard! Oh, don't call him. He's Guard! already pissed. Hey, what's up, your highness? Kick him out of the kingdom. Oh, good. He skipped in line anyway. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. And stay out. I don't want to see your face in the Donut Kingdom ever again. Well, well fine. I, I don't want to be in this stupid Donut Kingdom anyway. It's stupid and dumb. I, I do really need a donut, though. Where am I going to get one? Oh, oh, Karen. She's not banned. Yeah, I'll just get her. Okay, okay, Karen. Here, take this. Go, go. Boini, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do here. It's very simple, Karen. I just needed to take this Dig Dug machine into the Donut Kingdom and give it to the Donut King in exchange for a donut. But, Boini, I don't understand why you don't just go to the store to get a donut. What, Karen, don't you think if it was that simple, I would have done it already? They're sold out everywhere. Haven't you seen the news? Boini, I'm sorry that I'm not as obsessed with donuts as you are. I'm not obsessed with donuts, Karen. Hey, kitty. Oh, it's a Kit oh, Kat! Oh, 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 oh. Boydie, this is crazy! Well, it's not crazy, Karen. Just go talk to the dolphin. Boydie, do you understand how ridiculous this sounds? Listen to what you 
telling me to do? <gasps> you need me to talk to a dolphin to get to the Donut Kingdom to trade the Dig Dug machine for a donut from the Donut King to get to the doctor to give you a dying boss on his deathbed! Yes. Can you do it? Okay, Boiny, but this just sounds crazy! Okay, here, take it, go. Oh, why is she taking so long? Hey, Boiny, I got your donut! Oh, Karen, you got the donut! Wait, wait, why is there a bite taken out of it? Oh, I got hungry on the way out. Uh, Karen, I guess, okay, I guess it doesn't matter, it's fine, but wait, wait where's your dress? Oh, uh, I really wanted to keep the Ding Dong Machine, Boiny! <laughs> Good choice. All right, Karen, you got the donut, I can save my boss! He better hurry! Chief! Chief, I got the donut! Ah, oh, you're too late. He died. No! All right, hold on. Let me just restart the video. Guy, <gasps> uh, chief, chief, quick, eat the donut. Oh, guy, you saved my life. I'd do anything for you, sir. Ew! All right, Daddy. I gave away all my donuts. What, you gave away all your donuts? I sure did. So the donut kingdom is no more. What, what'd you trade for all your donuts? Well, someone traded me a Ferrari for all my donuts. A Ferrari for all your donuts? Yep. Well, you know what? I I'm glad. You don't need that many donuts anyway. Those are unhealthy. You need to eat something healthy like baked beans. Ew. What? Baby! Look what I just found! I found the golden baked bean! You know what that means? Baked beans for the rest of my life! Oh no! All hail the baked bean king! Who wants to trade me a Ferrari for all my baked beans? Oh man, I don't want to mess this up. Hey Junior, what you doing? Yeah, dude. I'm trying to put this screen protector on my phone. Oh, it's always good to use protection. Ooh, if my parents used protection, they wouldn't have had me. <laughs> Same. Oh, guys, I just don't want to mess this up. I only have one chance to put it on. Dude, I suck at putting screen protectors on. I'm great at it. But you are? Oh yeah, it's really easy. Well, can you put it on for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, Junior, so the trick to putting on screen protectors is to just slap it down really fast and don't think about it. But don't think about it. No, because if you think about it, then you're going to get nervous, and that's when you start to make mistakes. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Okay, now watch a master do it. All right, you just kind of line it up and bam! What? What? Cody, you put it on sideways! Well, yeah, I, I just wanted to show you how not to do it. Okay, what? so we're just going to take this and uh, peel it off. Okay, and then, and then, and then we're going to do it for real. Ugh. But Cody, you're not even putting it on right. Well, well, you know what it is? It's this shirt. That's the problem. The shirt. Dude. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 like really tight. And it's restricting my arm movement, and it's just in the way. I'm gonna go take my shirt off. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Daddy's ready. It's gonna be way easier now that I don't have that disgusting shirt on me. Dude, how does the bow tie stay on? Oh, it's drilled on. What? Drilled on? Yeah. You can drill stuff into walls as long as you find a stud, and I'm one big stud. Oh, Cody, can you just put the screen protector on right? Yeah. It'll be way easier this time. Okay. <clears throat> Cody, well, you're not even, not even close. Well, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Just, uh. Cody, you're not even trying. I'm trying, okay? I'll do it. Just watch. Uh. You know, I'll just do it. What, no, no, Jun Junior, it's, it's these shorts. That's the problem. They have to come off, too. What, no, Cody, you know I'm just going to do it myself. You know what? No, no Junior, I'll, I'll just, just let me Don't do worry it. About just, it. Just, I what? Oh. Uh, uh, Cody, you just broke my screen protector. Uh. What? Then, Cody, that cost like $50. Uh. Uh, I have to go ask my dad for more money, and I don't even think he's going to give me any. Cody, say something! Uh, Dad? <gasps> what do you want, Junior? I'm trying to take a nap! Uh, you know that screen protector you just bought me? Yeah, what about it? Cody broke it trying to put it on my phone. Dang it, Junior! That's a $50 screen protector! Why aren't you more careful? Uh. That's all you have to say? Uh. <sighs> Look, Junior, I guess I'll spend 50 more dollars on the screen protector instead of spending thousands of dollars on a whole new phone if you were to break that one. Will you buy me a new screen protector? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, wait, wait where's your wallet? What, wallet? <laughs> look under my bed! Look, look, look under your bed. <gasps> what? Dad! Why do you have so much money under your mattress? Junior, ever since I was 18, I've been stuffing my mattress with cash so the IRS wouldn't find my money. Oh, that, that's a really smart idea, Dad. I know, so get what you need. Get a hundred dollar bill and bring my change back, okay? Oh, okay. Th thanks, Dad. Don't tell anybody about my cash. I don't want Chef Peepee thinking he can get paid now. Oh, okay. I, I accidentally took yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, don't take too much. Okay, th that. thanks, Dad. Guys, guys, guys! My dad gave me money for a new screen protector! Dude, $100? I didn't know your dad was loaded. I mean, I knew he was a dilf, but I didn't know he was a sugar daddy, too. No, no, guys. I mean, this is, like, all he had in his wallet. It's not like he has, like, a thousand of dollars stuffed under his mattress or anything. That's kind of specific, Junior. Yeah. Well, guys, you're like questioning me. Like, you're acting like he like sleeps like on a million dollars under his bed, like he's hiding from the IRS or something. Dude, you, do you have something to say to us? Yeah, does he? What, no, guys? Look, I'm gonna go buy a new screen protector, and I have to give my dad back the change because he's not rich or anything. He's he just he's really poor. And he, he's gonna give me back the change. Like, this is supposed to be our our money for our food this week, but uh, he said go get a screen protector.
All right, guys, I got another screen protector. All right, let Daddy get to work. No, no, Daddy's not gonna get back to work because you broke the last one. Well, at least he called me Daddy. Well, no, look, I'm gonna call a professional company to put the screen protector on my phone. You just love wasting money, don't you? Well, then you wasted money because you broke my last one. That was $50. You just wasted money. But, Junior, I told you the shorts were the problem. Just let me take my shorts out. No, the shorts have nothing to do with it. I'm gonna call a professional company. Okay, fine. I'll go look at myself in the mirror. Hey there, is somebody called Dr. Screen Protector? Uh, yeah. Why do they call you Dr. Screen Protector? Oh, because I'm like a surgeon because of how precise I am with putting screen protectors on phones. You're that good? Oh, yeah, I'm great. I got a PhD in screen protector protective putting on Ning. I wanted to be a screen protector putter on on my entire life. You know, I come from a long line of screen protector putter on us. My great great grandfather put the first screen protector on the first screen. But he did? Yeah. Yeah, our last name was actually going to be screen protector putter on her. But, you know, that's kind of hard to fit on a license, so we just changed it to Guy. You know, because people were always like, who's that guy who puts screen protectors on phones? And, and then, yeah, we were like, oh, Guy. Yeah, that's good. So we changed it to Guy. Anyway, where's the patient? Uh, patient? Yeah, your phone. Oh, oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see that. Uh, now, where's the screen protector? Is this it? Oh, oh, whoa. What happened here? Oh, my friend tried to put a screen protector on my phone. Oh, yeah. That's what happens when you do some amateur screen protector puttering awning. Yep. I hate to see it. All right, let's go to the operating room. Uh, okay. Okay, vitals are good. He looks healthy. Oh, please take care of him, doctor. Oh, don't worry. I'm a professional. I've done this hundreds of times before. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure the screen is nice and clean. We're just going to wipe it down. <sighs> okay, there you go. That looks good. And then we're going to take this thing. But what is that? This is the screen protector putter on a helper. Yeah, screen protector putter on a helper. We're just going to put that on there, right, right, right there. Just put it on nice and tight. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Now... We take the screen protector and very carefully, oh, careful. very carefully, just put it on. Make sure it fits nice and nice and snug right in there. Okay, that looks good. And now we gently, gently peel this back. There we go. And pop this off. Whoa, Whoa bam, bam. There what? you go. But what about all those air bubbles? See, look at all those air bubbles. Don't panic. Don't panic. I can take care of those. We just got to get something really heavy and put it on top of the phone. Wait, something really heavy? Well, my friend Cody, his mom's like 500 pounds. No, no, no. No, we need something heavy. And believe me, if we needed a heavy person, we'd just get my ex-wife. Because she is so fat. So, so damn fat. No, no, it's okay. Just follow me outside. Uh, okay. Okay, just put this under here. Well, what are you doing? I'm going to run it over with my car. We're going to break the phone. I'm not going to break the phone, dummy. There's a screen protector on there. But this is a 3,000 pound car. It's going to break the screen protector and the phone. What, look, what's the point of having a screen protector on the screen if it's not going to protect the screen? But, 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 but I think it's going to break it. It's not going to break it, okay? We just got to squeeze out that little air bubble and we need that weight, okay? So don't worry about it. Look, who's the screen protector doctor here? You. Me, exactly. So I'm just going to put this down here, and I'm going to run it over. Okay. All right, I'm going to run this bad boy over. Then why aren't you in your car? Oh, because I have a Hyundai Sonata. A 2021 Hyundai Sonata. A 2021 Hyundai Sonata in a stormy sea blue. What does that mean? What it means is that I have park assist, so I can run over your phone without even being in the car. Wait, really? Like, like there's no one in the car? There's no one in the car. I can just do it right here from my key fob. Watch this. Hold on. It's going up. You hear that? Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. It's doing it. Yeah. There you go. What, it did? Yeah. I uh, ran over it. Uh, let's check and see if the air bubbles are out. Okay. Yeah, well, that air bubble's still on there. Well, uh, but we just ran it over. No, it's okay. We'll run it over a few more times. Not a problem. We'll check the back. Oh, don't look at the back. Uh, show me the back. No, you don't want to see the back. Show me the back. <laughs> What? You broke my phone! No, you broke your phone. What did you ran it over? Well, you didn't have a screen protector on the back. That's not my fault. Bye. Oh, no, I gotta get a new phone and my dad's gonna be mad! Ugh. Guys, guys, guys! Dude, what happened to your phone? Yeah, Junior. The guy put the screen protector on it. What? How do you mess it up that bad? Well, after he put the screen protector on it, there were air bubbles. So he tried to get the air bubbles out by running it over with a car. That's not how you get air bubbles out. I know, and now my phone's broken, and I don't know how I'm gonna get a new phone. Dude, just ask your dad for some money. Yeah, he gave you $100 like it was nothing. Yeah, but, but he gave me the $100 for a new screen protector so he wouldn't have to buy me a new phone. If he finds out my phone's broken, he's gonna ground me. Well, but if he can afford to give you $100, then he can afford to buy you a new phone. <sighs> Guys, I got something to tell you. What does it do? Do you have certain feelings whenever you see me without my shirt? No. My dad has like a bunch of money stuffed under his mattress. Whoa, really, dude? How much? I don't know. It could be like a million dollars, or it could be just enough to hang off the side to make it look like there's a lot of money under the bed. Ooh. I don't know. I just, I really need the money, but I can't ask my dad for it because he'll ground me. Dude, just take it. Look, it's a lot of money under the bed, right? Just take the money. 
money? He's not gonna know. Well, Joseph, that would be stealing. Who cares, Cody? <laughs> Joseph's right. I should go there. My dad would never notice the money's missing. So I'm just gonna go in there and take the money. I think you should just ask him. No. What? He won't notice a thousand dollars missing. One, two, three, four. But, but not be stealing my money. Nine. Who goes there? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> All right, guys, I grabbed a thousand dollars. Wow, you weren't lying. He really does have a lot of money under his mattress. Dude, you should have took more. Well, I just grabbed enough to get a new phone. So I'm gonna go ask Chef Pee if he can take me to the store. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't need anybody to take you to the store when you got the screen protector. Huh. Mm -mm. My candy souffle is almost done. Chef Pee-Pee, Chef Pee-Pee! Oh, what do you want, Junior? Can you take me to the store to buy a new phone? Wait, where did you get all that cash from? Uh, don't say under my dad's mattress. Don't say under my dad's mattress. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, definitely not under my dad's mattress. Dang it. <laughs> Your dad has cash under his mattress? No, I didn't say he had thousands of dollars stuffed under his mattress. I didn't say that. He has to. He doesn't pay me any money, so he probably has cash under his mattress. Well, he does it, Chef Pee-Pee, and, and, and if you go look and see it, uh, don't say you heard from me. You know what? I'm gonna go and check. No, Chef Pee-Pee, don't check. Oh, Dang it! Who's gonna take me to the store? Oh my god! Look at all this cash! Oh yeah, I'm about to steal all of this. Wait, wait, what's that noise? <gasps> Shut up, baby! What are you doing in my room? Uh, nothing. Wait, wait, are you stealing money from under my mattress? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I'm about to count all my cash because I know exactly what's under my mattress. And if you stole even a dollar from me, I'm gonna blame you for it! Uh. What's wrong, Junior? I accidentally told Chef Pee Pee about the money under my dad's mattress. Oh, no. Wait, where's Joseph? Oh, he said he was out of here, dude, and then he took my shirt and ran off. That's okay. It was too tight for me anyway. Hey, guys. Say goodbye to Chef Pee Pee. What, goodbye to Chef Pee Pee? Why? He stole $1,000 from me, so now he has to go swimming with the fishes. I didn't steal money from you. Well, who did then? Ahem. What? Junior. What? Don't you think you should tell him you stole the money? I would get grounded. Yeah, but would you rather Chef Pee died? Well, I don't want to get grounded. Junior, it'll just be for the rest of the video. <sighs> Do the right thing. Make up your mind. Junior? Oh god, he's stuck. Junior. Help me! Help Junior. me! Junior! Oh, Jesus Christ! Junior! Oh, oh, oh. Just look that way! Okay, thank you. Okay. Dad? What do you want, Junior? I have something to tell you. What? Chef Pee Pee didn't steal the money. Wait, wait, who did then? It was me. <gasps> Junior, why did you steal money from me? What? Well, I needed a new phone. My phone broke. What? The, the screen protector, Junior! The screen protector! There wasn't one on the back, and it, uh, I didn't want to ask you because I didn't want you to get mad, so I stole the money. Well, I'm more mad that you stole money from me. You should have just asked for it, Junior. That's what I said. So what's my punishment? 20 spankings. Wait, wait but what's his punishment, though? 20 spankings. Wait, wait, you get spanked as a punishment? Yeah. What? <laughs> I want that punishment. Wait, uh, so you'll take this punishment for me? Yeah, spank me. Uh, Dad, uh, Cody said he'll take the spankings for me. All right, come on. I don't care who gets it. <laughs> All right. Come on, Dad. All right, guys. Are you ready to watch Ice Age The Meltdown? What? Why? Oh, hold on. My mom's calling. Well, I didn't know cows could use phones. Yeah, they're getting smarter, dude. Hello? Cody Kins, your bath is ready. Uh, I, 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 I'll be home later, Mom. But, but your bath is ready now. Did, did you use bubbles? Well, of course, Cody. Yeah, what kind of bubbles, Mom? You didn't use that crappy off-brand SpongeBob stuff, did you? It gave me a rash last time. What, uh, um, um, no, 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 it, it, it's the Mr. Bubble kind. Okay, good, Mom. Uh, I just, I really want you to come home, because I already got your cheese and crackers ready. Cheese and what? Be specific, Mom. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, your cheese and quackers. Yes, your cheese and quackers. And oh, oh, look who's raising a commotion. He really wants to talk to you. <sighs> Is... Is it Gerald, Mom? Yes, it's your little duck buddy, Gerald. <sighs> Put Gerald on the phone, Mom. Oh, here you go. What the hell do you want, Gerald? You naughty little ducky, you. Yeah, you're just asking for it, aren't you? Yeah, well, you wait till I get home later. I'm gonna rub a dub dub all in that tub. <laughs> yeah, all right, now give the phone back to my mom. Just come home whenever you can, okay, Cody? Okay, Mom. I love you. I, I, I love you too, Mom. Kisses. <laughs> okay, kisses. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
What was that, Cody? Yeah, dude. Well, you little mama's boy, you gotta give your mommy little kisses. Well, you a little bitty baby. Yeah, yeah, you love your mommy so much. I don't even have a mom. Yeah, my mom's dead, dude. Yeah. She was making a bath for me. A bath? A bubble bath, dude? Yeah, what are you, five years old? You still take baths? You don't take a shower like an adult? Uh, I bet you have like little bubbles in your bath and duckies. Well, yeah, they go with my cheese and quackers. Cheese and quackers! Yeah! You call quackers like crackers because like, like, like ducky quack? Yeah, that's the joke. Oh my god, you're such a loser, Cody. We're about to watch Ice Age The Meltdown. We're all losers. No, you're the biggest loser, Cody. Like, like look at all those pimples on your face. You take so many baths, but you don't stay clean, you pimples. <laughs> savage. Yeah, savage. Wait, and why are you wearing overalls? Are you a hillbilly or something? Oh, savage. <laughs> and why do you wear glasses? Are you like Ray Charles? Like, you need his glasses? Oh, <laughs> savage. Ray Charles was blind. Yeah, that's why you need glasses, cause you're blind. <laughs> well, well, what about your bib, huh? What, what, why, why are you wearing a bib all the time? What, what are you, like a, like a baby or something? Well, when I eat, Cody, I don't want to make a mess. I don't want to get a stain on my shirt, so I wear a bib so I don't get a stain on it. Yeah, dude, that's so unsavage. Yeah, so unsavage. Oh, guys, guys, guys! <gasps> guys, guys, guys! What is it, Lil T? <gasps> I'm doing a huge party tonight! You guys gotta be there! A huge party? Yeah, yeah! There's gonna be girls there! Look! Hi! Hi! Uh, hi! Oh, Joseph, look, there's gonna be girls there. We have to go. Yeah, you know I like girls, dude. Oh, there's gonna be way more girls there, guys. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't worry, little T. We're all gonna be at that party. Wait, wait, wait. One thing. You can't invite Cody. Well, why can't we invite Cody? Look, look. That nigga's weird, okay? Just look at him. Oh, Ken, you're so sexy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I see what you're talking about. So make sure Cody doesn't show up to the party. I don't want him to ruin it. Don't worry. We're not gonna tell Cody about the party. I don't want to lose a chance with those beautiful ladies. Hi. Yeah, they're hot, dude. <laughs> okay, we'll see you at your party. Okay, dude. Don't leave me hanging with the beautiful ladies. Oh, uh, we won't. Don't worry. All right, Joseph, we have to break the news to Cody. You have to break the news to Cody. I can't do it. Okay. Ken, with your rock hard abs. I'm gonna try to be polite. Good luck, dude. <clears throat> oh, hey guys, what's all the hoopla about? See, that's why he's not invited. Shh. So, Cody, Lil T just invited us to his big party. Ooh, a party? That sounds fun. I just hope my social anxiety will allow me to go without wheezing uncontrollably. <laughs> it's already starting. <laughs> <gasps> Well, well, if you're too sick to go, Cody, you don't have to go. No, no, it's fine. I can go. I'll just call my mom and tell her to bring my inhaler and some pull-ups in case I pee myself. Uh, no, no, that won't be necessary, Cody. See, Lil T want me to tell you that uh, he has a strict no bow tie policy, so you can't go. Uh, that's okay. I'll just take the bow tie off. Uh, he also said there's a strict no overalls policy, so you can't go. Well, I'll just take those off, too. Well, he also said there's a, there's a no glasses policy, so you can't go. Oh, that's okay. I have some contact lenses. Uh, he said there's a no brown shoes policy, so you can't go. Oh, that's fine. I have a pair of black shoes I can wear. He also said, um, you can't wear blue shorts. That, 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 that blue shorts aren't allowed. You can't go. Oh, I, I have some green shorts. That, those will work. You just can't go. You're not invited. What? Not invited? Why? Because you're a nerd. You're weird. You wear glasses. You stink. You don't have really any friends besides us. And you hang out with this stupid doll all the time. W w I'm cool. Oh, no, no, Joseph was right. All those things about you are true. You're just uncool and you talk to Ken all the time, which is also uncool. But, but Ken's cool. He's a lawyer, astronaut, doctor, scientist for the NBA. Huh. That, that is true. I mean, actually, I don't think Lil T said that Ken wasn't invited. He just said you're not invited, so Ken can actually go. What, Ken, you wouldn't go without me, would you? What? Oh, screw off, Ken. Uh, so me, Joseph, and Ken are gonna go to the party. You're just not invited, Cody. What? Oh, come on, I'm cool. Oh, no, just learn to be cool, Cody. What? Uh, learn to be cool. Well, I'm cool. I, I'm the coolest kid ever. I, I'll show you how cool I am. Right after my bubble bath and my cheese and quackers. Oh man, Joseph, that was the coolest party ever! I know, dude. I think King got drunk on all the root beer. Oh yeah, he's wasted. He's out. Yeah. Oh man, that was so cool. You saw all the girls around me? Yeah, dude. Did you get their numbers? Oh, I got all the girls' numbers. Oh, let me see it. Let me see them. Uh, uh, my phone died, so I can't show you. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, if my phone wasn't dead, I'd show you all the numbers, but you know, it's dead. <laughs> Wait, what's that noise? Yeah, what was that? Yeah. What's up, sluts? Uh, <laughs> Cody? Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Whoa! You're so cool! Yeah! Damn right I am. Well, Cody, where'd you get that? What, my schlong? Yeah, God gave it to me. It's a little too big, but I don't mind. No, 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 I'm talking about the motorcycle! Oh, my crotch rocket? Yeah, <laughs> I built it myself in my dad's garage. Well, you, you know how to build a motorcycle? Yeah, you wanna hear me rev it really loud for no reason? What, no, not really. Oh, dude! You hear the rev? That's so loud! Oh, 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 stop! Oh, stop! Oh, stop. What? Th that's loud! <sighs> Whatever. Uh, but when you do look really, really cool. Yeah, uh, I get that a lot. Whoa! Whoa. Who is she? <laughs>
Hey! Oh, this is my girl Stacy. She was face down in a pillow about an hour ago. Now she's dead to me. She's so hot! Maybe to you. She's a solid six, but I'm getting tens every night. Oh, <laughs> cool! You're the coolest. Yeah, dude, you're so cool. Like, you're the coolest. Please, please, man, like, like you, I, I want to be cool. Just like I really, all right, all right, all right. Everybody, shut the hell up. I got a jam for a second. What jam? All right, check this out. Dude, he knows how to play the guitar. He's so good at it. Uh, yeah, that was my song, Lonely Summer. It's by my new band, Lizard Guts, with a capital Z at the end. Oh, you're so cool, Cody. Can we join your band, Lizard Guts? Yeah, please, please, please. Nah, nah, man. You're just not cool enough. Oh, well, is there any words to that song? Can you play it again? <laughs> Hell yeah, there's words. Check it out. Lonely summer, it's summer and I'm lonely. Yeah, that's pretty much it, but it's gonna be a hit. Oh yeah, I believe you. It's such a catchy song. Yeah, I like it. Oh, Cody, you're just so cool. You're the coolest kid hey, ever. Hey, you fat face. What? Me? Yeah, you. You got any go -gurt? Uh, downstairs in the refrigerator. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Joseph, he's so cool. I know! Hey, Dr. P, where's the Gogs, bro? Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, do I have to spell it out for you? The Gogurt loser, where is it? It's in the refrigerator like it's always been. We'll hop to it, bro. Well, you can get it yourself, Cody! Uh, my name's not Cody anymore, it's Blizzard Snake. Wait, Blizzard Snake? Well, Cody, you just said upstairs that your name is Cody and not to wear it out. Well, you wore it out. <laughs> oh, savage! Look, I'll get your stupid Gogurt, okay, Blizzard Snake? Yeah, you better. Well, Blizzard Snake, you have to teach us to be that cool. <laughs> not a chance. Does anybody have any grease for my hair? <sighs> That's a pretty good goog. But Blizzard Snake, that was my last gogurt. Yeah, well, what Blizzard Snake wants, Blizzard Snake gets. Speaking of gets, where's my root beer, Brosiv? Here he is. <laughs> ah, thanks, Brosiv. <gasps> Whoa! Dude, even the way he opens root beer is so cool. I know, you're the coolest kid ever. Yeah, I am. Wait, so you want to watch Ice Age The Meltdown? <laughs> Ice Age The Meltdown? That's child's play. I only watch the original Ice Age. But I don't have the original Ice Age. <laughs> then what am I doing here? Oh, no, 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 no please don't leave. Don't, don't leave, don't leave. I'll go rent the original Ice Age. I'll rent it. Okay, whatever. Wait, uh, um, my Blizzard Snake, are you and Ken still dating? Ugh, we don't talk about him anymore, okay? He was just holding me back. All right, Joseph, let's go in the kitchen and think of a plan to get uh, Cody back to normal, okay? Okay, dude, let's do it. I can't, I can't handle him acting like this anymore. All right, Joseph, Cody is just too cool. Dude, he's so cool. He's the coolest kid ever. God, I want to be him when I grow up. I want to be just like him. Oh. Okay, we have to stop Cody from being so cool. How do you stop someone from being that cool, dude? I have no idea. Mm. Oh, dude, do you have those girls' number from the party still? Uh, but yeah, of course I do. It's on my phone that's dead. Dude, call one of them up and tell them to tell Cody he's not cool anymore. It'll ruin his confidence. Uh, well, uh yeah, but my phone's dead. I, I just don't have the numbers. You didn't get the number, did you? No, I was too afraid to ask the girl. But look, I'll run back to the party and I'll grab one of the girls, okay? Okay. And, and I'll get one of the girls to tell Cody he's not cool. Okay, so what are we doing again? All right, Heidi, I'm paying you $5 to tell my friend Cody that he's not cool and that he's ugly, okay? Okay. All right, come with me. Hey, Cody. Ahem. I mean, Blizzard Snake. That's better. Meet my friend Heidi. What do you think of her? Yeah, I've seen better in family photo albums. What? Heidi, tell him the thing. Whoa, you're cool. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. What? No, you're supposed to tell me he's not cool. Say the thing. Whoa, you are right. Cool! <laughs> Whatever. You want to see something cool? That's my crotch rocket over there. <gasps> you have a motorcycle? Yeah, sometimes I like to drive it around on rainy days and just think about life. Where's no, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me speak to Heidi for a second. You're supposed to say he's not cool. But he's so cool! I know he is, but you're supposed to say he's not cool! But, lonely but... summer, it's summer and I'm lonely. Yeah. You can have Wait, no, 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 no. All right, listen, Cody. You can have the coolness. All right. And you, and I know somewhere in that deep, chiseled abs of yours, in that amazing haircut, that, that the real Cody is in there somewhere. Nah, man. That Cody's dead. I'm Blizzard Snake now. <laughs> uh, Cody's dead. I miss Cody. Where's the real Cody? Oh, man. What, what happened, dude? Well, the girl ended up liking Cody, so the plan failed. Aww. So we get to think of another plan. Joseph, what are you doing? I'm trying to get this Reese's, dude. I'm hungry. That's my Reese's. You can have some after you help me think of another plan. Okay. Um. Ooh, I know. 
oh, Cody loves Ken, right? So what if I grab Ken and make it look like Ken likes me? Then Cody will get jealous and he'll stop being cool. Whatever lets me get this Reese's, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go try that. <laughs> and then this one time I did a wheelie on my crotch rocket. That's so scary. Yeah, but I didn't care. And then this other time I fell off some monkey bars and broke my arm. I still complain about it every now and then. Wow. Yeah, but it's no big D with a lowercase d. <laughs> hey, Cody. Guess who decided to come over? Ugh, what's he doing here? I don't know. He called me and said he wanted to hang out. That's weird. Why are you talking to a doll? Yeah, that's weird. You're weird. Wait, 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 what's that? <gasps> Ken likes me. That's weird! Yeah, Junior, you're being super weird right now. Well, you don't care if Ken has a crush on me? <laughs> no, I don't care. Why would I care? What, what, what's that, Ken? <gasps> you want me to rub your abs? Ew! Yeah, Junior, take your weird stuff somewhere else. Wait, oh, man, his, his abs are so rock hard. Right. Well, I mean, I know they're rock hard, but like, I don't care or anything. What, what, what's that, Ken? <gasps> you want me to kiss you? <sighs> Go ahead, I don't care. Wait, well, you, you don't care if I kiss Ken? No, kiss him. I, I don't care. Why would I care? Oh, all right, let me, let me give him a kiss. Mm -hmm. Yuck! Yeah, yuck. Yeah, that's right. You're being weird. Oh, man, what, what, what's that? I'm a better kisser than Cody? What, he, he wouldn't say that. Wait, 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 he is saying that. <gasps> he wants me to kiss him again. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I'm, I'm a better kisser than Cody. You've never liked Cody like you like me? Well, well even if he did say that, I wouldn't care. What, 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 what's that? <gasps> You want me to unbutton your pants? All right, all right, everybody stop. Babe, get out of here. He called me babe. Junior, give me and Ken a minute alone, please. But, but I think Ken... Get lost. Okay. Ken, what the hell are you doing here? No, Ken, this is the new me. I'm Blizzard Snake now. You know, they didn't like me, so when people don't like you, sometimes you just have to change to fit in. And, and now they think I'm cool, and that's all that, all that matters. And I am cool, you know, I, I've, got, I've got a crotch rocket, and, and I've got a guitar I'm learning how to play, and I mean, I don't really play it, Logan just kind of plays background music, and I just kind of hold it. But you know, it's, I'm learning, you know, it's still cool, you know, and people like me, and oh, Ken, come on, don't be like that. Well, I mean, we can still be friends. I, Ken, don't give me that look. I, it's not like I care about you or anything. Oh, Ken, you know I can't say no to you. <laughs> Come here, you! I like being uncool. I want to be uncool forever with you, Ken! I like being a dork! Look, Joseph, we got Cody back! But he's kissing a doll! He's such a freak! Yeah, but he's our freak. 